Hello, good morning, and welcome to a special edition of the Tea Room. If you're watching this for the first time, mm -hmm. the new Christopher Ward launch has just gone live on their website. Now, the reason I'm not mentioning the name at the moment is because our panelists here do not actually know much about the watch at all. So, first impressions count, as you say. Hear any barking noises? Well, Mr. Cherished Time down there has got a rather large dog. Um, weighs 100 pounds and it makes a lot of noise. So, <laughs> so, so I'm just going to introduce the rest of us. So, we've got Cherished there at the bottom. Welcome back, Cherished. I've a bit Thank of a break you. from the watch world. Yes. Uh, happy Pocket to be watch. Here. Pocket watch. Good morning. How are you doing? Hey, everybody. Doing great. And Brian. How are you doing, Brian? I'm only here to see Andy's unbuttoned chest and Teddy. <laughs> Fair enough. Absolutely. I'm not so worried Teddy. about a, I don't care about a watch. Well, that's Ted, a... Te yeah, Teddy is a dog, by the way. Okay, <laughs> so we have this new watch, guys, and it uh, is called the June. Uh, and I'm just going to add the pictures to the stream now, and Andy is going to show everybody... For those Everything that don't speak it. man curry and it's dune. So there you go. That is that is the man first one. <laughs> what right. do we all think? What do we all think of that? Hmm. Thirty-eight it's, it's mil. Nice. Yeah, tell us about it, John. Yeah, it's yeah. sorry, it's th it's thirty-eight yeah. mil, and they class it as a field watch. Mm. And and it's got a Salita SW 200-1 movement in it. Okay. I'll tell you what, first impressions. I like that the blue dial, the way they've done that, looks really cool. And the red red line they've got under there. My old, I had a two-tone Yachtmaster with a blue dial and red, and it was very similar looking in colour, the dial. It's a bit of a faux patina on there as well. So nice looking dial, a bit. A little bit plain, scraps nice, but um, yeah, they want it plain, they just want it as a as basically a, a three hand uh, field watch. You can tell the time yeah, with I think they're going a bit bit fancy with the dial, but which is good, it, it's not just black dial, you know, yeah, white no, detailing no. on it. So, so that it, it it's a good look for a field watch, good looking watch. Now, they do make an off they do make an off white version, hopefully, in the pictures there, Andy will have an off white, but which I really do like out the colors. There's mm. the off watch. Unfortunately, the, the, we haven't got hands on the watches, guys. There's, there's um, not many knocking around. Even though I tried to get one within ten minutes of the, of the, of the uh, getting the email about them, I was on the phone to them trying to secure a um, a watch. Um, so they've sent some high res pictures, but they haven't got a lot of high res pictures to us either. But there's the white dial. It's like an, a cream That's off nice. white dial, yeah. and I love I've, I've I've I love that color. Yeah. I really do like that color. Mm -hmm. Yep. So nice. uh, why why we just seen a couple of pictures there of this before we get to the other models? Um, first of all, uh, Batch, what do you think of it? Um, similar to Palm, I think it's. I like the dial. I do like kind of a faux petite, um, on the indices. It's quite nice. I do like the little red detailing in the naming. Um, yeah, it, it's nice for a field watch, I think. It, and I think that's what Christopher Ward were trying to go for, right? They were trying to do a, a kind of a dressy field watch, from my understanding. Yeah, they so, get to the field watch. It could also yeah, work it's... in the boardroom and out and out for meals and stuff like that. One bit they they, yeah. they came they kind of said, um, they said, think of it simpler to tool watch. They said, like, the fixed bezel uh, Tudor Black Bay or the original 1950s uh, Omega Seamaster. That's what they were actually said in their blurb. Mm. Right. Okay. So it's, mm. it's an interesting one to compare it with that. I don't know. Um, yeah, the Seamaster was a dive watch, wasn't it? And this is field, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, it so... only fit well. Yeah, I had a discussion with a friend of mine today at lunch, actually, about about um, tool watches, and basically anything that's not a dress watch is is effectively a tool watch. So <laughs> it's loose, isn't it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Really? It's, yeah. It's, I mean, an Explorer One, an Explorer One is a tool watch, isn't it? And an Explorer Two is and a tool field watch, watch yeah. really. But uh, this has and got a date watch. though, as well. So yeah. this is kind of a bit fancier, like I was saying. Yes, that's true. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so can we see some more pictures? We've got the white one there. Let's can we um 38 well, mil, that, by the way. They're all 38 mil. Well that our friends like on the panel, Brian, what do you reckon? Yes, Brian, what sorry, yes, Brian, what do you think? So I I not knowing the price, um I like it. I'm having I like I like the lollipop on the on the second hand. I like everything about it. I like the the blue would be more of a summertime watch, where the other one might be more of a winter time. Um, I'm having a little bit of a problem with the hour with the hour hand. It looks odd to me, but that's the only criticism I've got. Um, okay. I'd like to see the. I'd like to see maybe the hour hand a little more representative of the 12 o'clock marker. So, interesting. If I just mention you, first of all, that the blue and the white one, which is the, the standard automatic, what price, what dollar price would you pay for it? And what dollar price would you expect it to be? That's a good question, right. and and, I, and I'm thrilled that they put the date on it because by putting the date on it, this could be somebody's one one watch one and easily. Done, yeah. Yep. And exactly. the and, and the colors of it, you could get different colored straps for it and dress it up and dress it down. Dare I say you could put it on a NATO strap and it would look <laughs> fine too. Yeah, you could. Uh, yes, you probably could. <laughs> and if I ever if, if I get one in. If I get one in, I'm going to ask them to send me a white one. I'm going to be specific and say, can you try and send me a white one? I'm going to put it on a NATO. On a NATO. I'm going to ask, yeah. yeah. 100%. So, so in this market, I would say it's between, uh, let's convert to British pounds. Um, no, you can have it in dollars, mate. I have, a dollar, I have a dollar price. I have an exact dollar price of what it's going to be. An exact dollar price. So I'll have to convert my guess now. I would say it's $1,095. Wow. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to ask this before I actually reveal how much it is. This particular one, uh, I'll go through. I'll go through the rest of the panel and see what they they think. Okay, um, so pocket. First of all, impressions on the watch and the dollar price you would expect this this to be, please. Okay, well, my first impression actually has nothing to do with the watch. It has to do with why are they giving it a grandiose name. So they're calling it the Dune, but the first watch they show has a giant blue dial, which makes me think nothing of the desert. So, you know, really, as I say, when I when I kind of got the first picture on the screen, I was just confused because, okay, you know. Okay, so they say that it, they say, I'm not, like, excuse my French, if it is French, that they, that they suppose based on, I mean, I'm not. I can't even spell English properly. Okay. So it says the three watch rain named after the Aquitaines, June du Pillay, the tallest sand dune in Europe. So that's where the name June June comes from. Yeah, there again, well, it makes complete sense clear. with the second one. With the second watch with yeah. the off white, you know, then Correct. it kind of makes sense. I just don't really understand why the blue one is in the range because, you know, I said my my favorite book movie series in the entire world is Frank Herbert's Dune. So oh. you know, when I okay. when I got that name, I immediately had sort of a wonderful thought of my favorite movie and then you popped up a blue dial i'm like huh what the hell well, perhaps blue so is it... there for, perhaps blue sells most perhaps a blue dial historically i mean you know yeah. i buy blue dials well, that might be know. a sea so, dune or something so i'm going to kind of throw the blue out even though i think the blue dial looks beautiful i just think the blue dial kind of is looks like every other watch i kind of like their sandy off-white dial and what i actually really love about it the most is is this the first time they've ever put an applied logo on? Because, you know, usually they, you know, with Christopher Ward's been plagued with, should it be Christopher Ward or should it be the flags? And, you know, usually they just have painted logos. And, well, frankly, I think they look kind of cheap. This is nice. the first applied nice. logo I've mm. seen, and I think it looks pretty good. Now, the colors so, are, the, the, they, do, they do this particular one in a black sand, marine blue, which you've seen, beach grass, and white sand. Those are all, those are the colors that that one is available in. Yeah. So I said, I, I really like this model here, you know, from the ones that we've seen. That one at least mm -hmm. kind of fits the name. It's got the applied logo. You know, all of the, uh, the markers are applied. It just, it looks like a nice quality watch. Price-wise, you know... 
Uh, if it was last year, I would have said this would have gone into Christopher Ward's $800 category, but I think they've kind of pushed a little bit up market, and I, I'm kind of with Brian. I think it's going to be about a thousand bucks. Okay, and finally, cherries, please. You know, I agreed with the panel. I definitely uh, love the white, and uh, as we said, the applied uh, uh, markers and indices just look phenomenal on it. I think the blue sunburst is great. As we said, if you could change that up for the straps, and that would be like a summertime thing. But I wish maybe they would have just put a little dash of red on the uh, second hand just to make that pop a little bit so it, you know, went along with the, the red line. <laughs> yeah, red, any particular reason you want it on the tip? <laughs> no. Yeah, red, no, 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 no. yeah. And subconsciously, I didn't even think of that. So, well, consciously, I didn't. <laughs> no, but yeah, we, I guess. Don't worry, don't worry we did. <laughs> <laughs> that is fair. I missed you guys, but I, I think I really liked it. I think you know, as we said, it would be a versatile watch, a one and done. It's got the date. You got any kind of band you want: rubber, leather, quarter van. You can Ooh. go with, uh, you know, the NATO. So you know, if you wanted to really dress it up, definitely like in the white, the blue. Uh, I am. I don't know. I'd like to see the other ones as well. But uh, yeah, the applied marker looks. You know, the applied markers look phenomenal. I, I just want to hear Cherish say rubber. <laughs> rubber. <laughs> so, and then I'm going to go at d d d a conservative 795. It's a Salida movement. I mean, you know, but it we'll is. see. Okay. Put out your misery that this particular model in those four colors is 850 US dollars. Ooh. It's not bad. But, yeah, you know, is that a good price right. for you guys? Did yeah. you think that's value well, it for certainly money? Was for, it certainly is, I think, for, 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 Brian, for Brian and Pocket, because they, they were going over a grab. Yeah, because I said, I mean, yeah. this is that's what they used to price their watches at, was, you know, that seven to $800 mark, and, yeah. you know, and that's kind of yeah. what I think they're known for. And they've been pushing it up a little bit, which, hey, good for them. So, you know, I think it's good that they've got something kind of back in that more accessible tier because once you spend a thousand bucks, that's kind of a lot of money. Eight hundred dollars, you can yeah. kind of lie to yourself and say it's a little cheaper, and right. you know you can convince your wife to let you buy a watch. So I think mm. that I do like I that off-white one. I mean, it's six hundred ninety-five yeah. English yeah. pounds, and yeah, I that is nice. I yeah, don't even see. Of... I don't even see available on the bracelet the white one, but I wouldn't have it on the bracelet. I like. I like it how yeah, it is. It's yeah. quite nice. If they would have priced it six ninety five or even seven forty five, seven forty nine uh, U.S., I think they'd fly. Well, we know Cherish yeah. is going to order every color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, there's perhaps. something really calming about this one. It, the, it's the I don't know Heather Fields and I don't know. There's something yeah. really summer. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, it is. It's, summer it's fields kind of it's, field watch. Yeah, I think, there you go. I think it looks brilliant. I think, as I said, I think the, the off white color. Makes those applied indices and logo absolutely pop, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, the logo, yeah, yeah, yeah. really yeah. does. That's, that, that's a that's, that looks a very it's a really nice contrast. Right. Yeah. Now, did you say there's four yeah. colors? Do we only have pictures of two? Let's see. That we've got the blue in that. Let's see. That any, <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah, I'm just scared if I skip to the next one, it could be the new watch. Well, if but... it's the next one, I'll yeah. I'll say the answer now <laughs> and then talk about the next one. Yeah. Right. Okay. Just uh -oh. okay. No, we say oh. we say. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. No, so it is a There is a bracelet. It comes in a bracelet. Okay. It comes in a bracelet. Interesting. Okay. Next picture, please. Yeah. No, I like that. Bracelet. I do like it on the bracelet. Yeah. I like that though. I must yeah. admit. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. 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 I'm a bracelet guy, but I like it better on the strap. The strap looks good. If you go, can you go back one batch? Just quickly. The blue one. Oh, okay. No. You good? The date, the, the wheel yeah. is blue, and the is it a white or a cream number they've got on there? It looks this looks really good on the blue one. But, um, it's, it looks white that, to me, though. Yeah, so you've got kind of, okay. Yeah. It looks yeah. nice that Black the wheel, the color, the way they've matched up the colors of the uh, the date wheel and the dial. It it looks that, that probably clean. looks better on a bracelet. That blue probably looks mm, better that on does. a bracelet. But I think the white would look oh. better on a on a strap. Yeah, yeah. weird, but I think so, definitely. No, absolutely. Yeah, that, looks, okay. that looks nice. That's yeah. very linen, nice, very linen. It? Yeah, I think it's got to got that linen kind of uh, yes. look to it, isn't it? Yeah, that is a good look. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Five. yeah, yeah. Absolutely right. Okay. I can't tell if that guy's shirt is buttoned up all the way. 
<laughs> it's not. He's on this show. It can't be. It can't be. It's true. <laughs> okay, so that's your, that's your Salita. Okay. Um, Ooh, keep on going with okay, the, the next one. Right Ooh, there, we go. That it's... one. Now that is, guys. That is a same model, but it's got a bronze bracelet as well as a bronze a cape. Bronze. It's all wow. bronze. Mm. It's all bronze. Same, exactly the same um, movement. Mm. Okay, but it's the June bronze. Um, I say it's the same. I say it's the same movement, but this one is actually chronometer certified, so it's a COSC movement. This. So they've played. They've, okay. they've, they've done the tolerances a bit more on this particular oh, nice. model on the on the on the on the on the bronze. I wonder how that will patina. Interesting. So the blue doll just before in the previous picture, wasn't there? It's green. The green looks really good. But I, yep. I yes, they do, they do it. They do a marine blue and a beach grass, which is obviously the beach grass is going to be the green. So those are the two colours that they do. It's only two colours in the bronze. Now the bronze CS. CSN U8, I think, which is the one that Oops. patinas a bit more. The same as I've got on that one. Because that's my Christopher Ward bronze. It's the same bronze. And I think, um, remind me, Cherish, have you got a bronze? Um, I don't. Have you got a bronze Christopher Ward? You do, don't you? Yeah. Uh, and it's it, they bronze that. Yeah. Patina beautifully. Yeah. When I got it, I uh, cleaned it with, uh, to get it sparkling with some uh, ketchup. Spark Test and, some ketchup. Uh, yeah. And then uh, I started fresh, so it it looks phenomenal. Yeah, so that is the same. It's the same bronze as on as on the other Christopher Ward ones. And I said they do it in two colours. They do it in the marine blue or the beach grass, which is the green. And there's not very many watches out there I can recall that actually have a bronze bracelet as well as the case. Uh, now, I'm I just Oris asking, yeah. Oris, yeah, Oris, yeah, yeah, and. And also Tudor. Zelos do one. Zelos, Ze yeah, yeah. Tudor? Zelos and Ari both do one. I can't think of a lot. There Tudor. probably are some more out there. Co Tudor. Guys, put the comments below. Are you watching this? If you can think of anybody apart from Ari and Zelos who do a, a bronze bracelet. <laughs> Brian, Brian, hold up a sign. Tudor. Tudor. <laughs> and uh, Pocket's talking about his Zodiac, I would imagine, right? No, no, this is my Tudor. Yeah. Oh, you tutor. There you go. Okay. So, so, yeah, the right, tutor what, so the whole what they do a whole bracelet as well, the full bracelet. They do. And how does yeah. that patina? Anybody ever see it? Mm, right. Okay. I took mine off and put a strap on it. Right. Uh, right. Because <laughs> yeah. the All minute right. you get a watch home, you've got to you got to change it up. I don't. I, do you know what? I think it's a bit weird. I I wouldn't personally. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have this because I wouldn't. No. I certainly wouldn't have this on a bronze bracelet because. I just think it's a bit weird having the whole bracelet patina as well as the, cool. the, the you know, the, the yeah. Case. If you see some That's of these orange ones, it, it it does. It looks a bit manky, but it, it looks mm -hmm. all right if you're oh, going you for mean, that you can do. I mean, I, I, I mean, I've, yeah. I said, I've, I've done the mank on them. I mean, I've done, I've, I've actually patina them, and I couldn't. Nah. Yeah, it looks Not okay on the bracelet, doesn't it? Too, but on the orange one that I've seen, the orange cotton candy. Ah, okay, okay, perhaps. it looks okay yeah. on that. I mean, I, I think the the bronze bracelet's pretty neat, but yeah, same deal. You know, I, I, I get my hands wet too much. I would walk around probably with green wrists by the end of the week. So, <laughs> yeah. You know, as I said, yeah. for me, it was a no-go, and that's why I got a, got a strap for it. So, but, yeah, I, I just, think it's really neat that they do it. Yeah. I just looked online quick to see what, what it may look like. Not a fan. No. Okay. okay yeah. so... This is very day date kind of olive dial. Yeah. If it was rose gold, gold or it, something, it, was good. Yeah, awesome. it looks, looks good. Looks very good. Yeah. It looks wise, I think, mm -hmm. and clean, unpatinated. Right. Yeah. It's uh, untarnished. Yeah. It, it looks. Oh, great. Cool. Yeah. The the bronze and the green is great. So yeah. as I said, yeah. you could buy this watch. You can get an aftermarket strap, and uh, and then you might have the best of both worlds. Mm. Yeah. So how much? Uh, let's sure. go for price, guys. So, Brian, first of all, what should you like it, and how much you think it will be? I'm not. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of the bracelet being all bronze, bronze. and then same as being, me. Yeah. Yeah. All matter. You know. I. The colors are fine. I would be. I. I would actually be honestly worried about wearing it in the wrong areas and mm. getting whacked for it. Um, right. Yeah, I think I. But what I that one shot that you had of the of the side of the case, I love the case profile. Mm -hmm. 
That looks yeah, beautiful to me. Yeah, it's very, mm. Mm. Attention that's, to detail there, isn't it? That, that's yeah. a very sexy leg shot to me. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> um, lots of little details, lots of little bevels and <laughs> brushings and polishing. Loads, de loads of detail in that, isn't there? Yeah. Absolutely. So I would think that with all this, with the COSC movement and everything, I think it's about $2,850. Uh, $2, wow. Okay. Okay, okay, we'll park that for a second. Okay. Um um by the way, the reason I'm not asking the other two guys is they've had they, they've had hands on the on the page book before, sort of like for price wise. So that's why the audience were in the know. Why we're not, yeah, they're in the they're in the <laughs> know. But I can still ask I can still ask Andy what he actually thinks of it and what whether he's a fan. Yeah, um I was gonna comment earlier just on I'm nervous to zoom because I'm having no issues for some reason when there's zoom on the, on the picture. So I hope it doesn't break up. But you can see also Brian. I can no, Andy is breaking up. up. I just heard Brian, and that was it. That's all. Yeah, you need. Andy. Yeah, Andy. Andy is breaking <laughs> yeah, up. I can see Brian. Um, That's all I need. I, yeah. I do think it's nice. And it's, <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, sorry about yeah. that. Yeah, so it's a nice contrast, right, though. Did you catch all that, though? Yeah. No, yeah. we it's heard my name, which was fine. Brian. Yeah. Yeah. Brian, which is a uh, really important yeah. thing. Yeah, that's the main <laughs> yeah. thing. That's the main thing. Yeah, but I like it. Yeah, but I, I was just saying, I wish it was rose gold as well. I think, I think it would. Uh, for me, I'd like it more. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay. The box, um, Crystal Ward. Yeah. So we know what Pocket thinks of it. Pocket, what do you think of the price? What do you think it's going to be? I mean, you've got you've got hands on, and you know. You you bought like yeah. Surprise. I mean, I I don't think the COSC movement gives it much clout for price, and you know they're just got to work with their metal. So I mean, I, I wouldn't go higher than fifteen hundred for it. So I'm I'm probably going it's more in the twelve fifty. True. Oh, okay, and uh, cherished. Well, as you know, I love my bronze uh, ombre dial. Uh so, like we said, maybe with the Tudor, I would take the uh, bracelet off and just put it away. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Nice rubber strap. So I'm thinking I like it. So I think they're going to come in around uh, 1400 But I agree. I don't I don't think it's going to be worth it for the certification, but I think that's where they're going to around 1400 I've heard I heard it only costs about twenty quid extra per watch to actually get something cost certified. Oh. That's what it costs. Yeah, I've heard that straight from Mike before now. That's all it's not doesn't it cost a lot. Okay, so you're looking at a thousand and sixty five dollars for this. Oh wow. Say what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's... There you that, go. yeah, thousand and sixty five. Way off of the two thousand. The value is uh, in right the watch. Now. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. And this is a 38 Great as well, isn't it? Watch. It's the same. Yes, they're all 38. The yes. Yeah. 30, wow. Absolutely. All 38. Correct. That okay. is a, is a fan. I can see Batch yeah. wearing this, even though you say you, you you don't like this bracelet. I can see Batch wearing Ooh, rocking this in now, Barcelona. Oh, 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 hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Stop GMT. There we go. Okay. okay. It's a GMT yeah. now. Yeah. Let's go back. Go back. Go back to go the back GMT. There we go. Okay. That is nice. So. What we have here, have. guys, is it? I already have. <laughs> yep, so we have a GMT, but it doesn't have a movable bezel because the um, it doesn't have a traditional movable outer bezel. It has a raised interior bezel printed with the 24-hour numerals. Mm -hmm. You line up the fourth GMT hand with the inner bezel with the, with the, with the numerals. Fine. You don't and need the rotating bezel anyway, because none of us know how to do three time zones. <laughs> so this true. is no, speak in, yourself. This is in black. <laughs> this is in black sand. Okay, it's in black sand. It's got a fifty-six hour power reserve, which is quite a lot for their watches, mm. uh, for mm. their standard. Uh, okay, and it is limited to two hundred piece only. There's only one color, black. Mm. And it's limited oh, really? to 200 pieces only. Brrr, that is nice. Wow. 
I like that. I think this will. I, like I think this will be the one. I think this will be the one that sells first, sells out first. People will go for it. Back to linen. Not sure it's a linen kind of yeah. watch, but yeah. linen travel. He's going somewhere hot. Obviously, he's traveling somewhere. <laughs> The, the Caribbean or something. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's gone. He's gone he across the Dean Desert. Guys, are gonna have to give me a heart attack. He's no, traveling by camel across the dune. Yes. <laughs> now, do you have any more pictures apart of those two of it, or is that your lot? So we oh, all pictures. So that one. You get the lifestyles, one. and then one close up of the dial, and. Mm, okay. Okay. So, is it, is it a granular dial, uh, yeah. John? Do you know, or Andy? Or is it quite a smooth, a sunbursty kind of? If it's got a texture. Oh, sorry. Yes. It's got uh, texture. I will texture. zoom in for you, but my audio will break up. So. <laughs> no, just nod. Talking in zoom. But... Yeah, just, so... just just nod, and we'll understand. <laughs> It doesn't appear on the. I'm looking at the close-up yeah. picture, the same as Andy's got. It does. It looks to be smooth. It doesn't look to be tech. It doesn't yeah, it looks look quite to be um, glossy. Yeah. Or kind of a little bit glossy, isn't it? From that yeah, picture, yeah. you can't tell really the pictures. Yeah. One thing I've learned about Chris Award watches is the pictures do not do them justice until you actually. No, see even their the, high-res pictures. They need, the they need a new. Yeah, the, they they're even really their nice in, the, in person. They need a yeah. new photographer. <laughs> No, not not just that. They're just nice. They know watch is hard to capture all yeah. the details. I think that's what it is. Yeah, they need to send them to Batch so we can actually do some lifestyle Batch. pictures by the beach. <laughs> oh, you know. that's it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm available. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so okay. So first um, of all, let's say. Yeah. Can you see um, this one now, where it's closer? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks yeah, a bit sunburst. Cool. Yeah. <clears throat> now, oh, am I imagine it? But does but, that? Uh, the the, the 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 Christopher Ward logo doesn't look as applied as does it? Because I agree, it's not. Mm, that still looks is it not applied, or is it looks it applied to me. Oh yeah, mm. it's yeah, it's because it's the a cross does, steel the color. Squares down, yeah. yeah, yeah. Doesn't look. It doesn't look as applied. It doesn't look as. It doesn't pop as much as the white one. At yeah, all. Well, no, the contrast isn't as great. Yeah, it, no, but no. No, I don't know the white on what this. Yeah, it looks applied. It is... Yeah, I suppose yeah. it doesn't look the painted white... anyway. If it came out, uh, I like, I mean, they made an off-white GMT. That'd be amazing. That they made that. Did they put that off-white dial in this? Which they're not. Well, obviously, they could do, couldn't they? You know what they like. They come mm. out with limited editions, and then they make a different color of it. So I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick my neck out and say, expect when this off sells white. out, an off-white GMT. That's what I reckon, hundred percent. Um, so you'd like it the same off white as what's on the bottom here. No. So the dial will be that. Yes, it would. The same as off white as the yeah. as the first automatic we saw. Yeah. So let's say yeah. okay, yeah. Palm. Do you like? Do you like it? Do you like this? I like it. I like it as it is. I wouldn't change it at all. Okay. I wouldn't want the. I think it'd be hard to tell the time with the if with all if because it's. Two, you know, not how to not tell the time in two time zones it'd be if you made it a uh, lighter color but okay. um i do like it a lot are you, temp are you tempted enough to get one uh, i already own a gmt watch but if i didn't have uh, one i would definitely consider it consider. it's a good travel watch it's a good watch to take to you know the airport and not, yeah. but if you're not worried about theft and stuff it's a brilliant yeah. one yeah and i like the red gmt on it as well i do like mm -hmm. red detailing especially on the black contrast uh, dial yeah no yep i would if i was if, if i was in the market for a gmt to travel with and you know not, and bash around a little bit this would definitely tick that box okay yeah. andy would you would you like this you can nod if you if you <laughs> is your audio <laughs> a bit rubbish yeah sorry i don't yeah, I've had a change of router, so I apologise. Um, it's not. It's all right. It's all right now. Long as you don't zoom in, um, it's all right. Sounds fine. Yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I I really like it. Um, similar to Palm, I do have a GMT. I rather out there have a GMT, but I have a watch what provides that function. Um, of course. I do like it. It has kind of a, I don't know, something casual, kind of cool and casual about it. Uh, which I like. I think it's my kind of style if I was to rock this kind of watch. So, 
yeah, I think it's a winner from from my perspective. I like it. I like the contrast. There's enough detail in there. Um, yeah, from from what I can see, just from, from the few pictures, I think it's a really nice looking watch. Mm. Yeah, I do as well, actually. Yeah. Okay, oh, sorry, I, didn't, I don't know if I catched the the size. Uh, thirty-eight mil. We're all thirty-eight. Yeah. Thirty-eight mil. Yeah. Uh, Brian. So thirty-eight. I, sorry. Um, okay. Yeah. Sorry. I'm I'm thrilled to see them doing a GMT. I would not buy this one. I'm not enamored with the split colored twenty four hour track. I think it should you know they should have left it all as one. I think it makes the watch look a little off balance to me. And I will wait for them if they, if, dear Christopher Ward, if you're listening, um, do it in that all white color and just leave the outer track as the same white and leave it clean with the red hand and the red GMT markings on it. And I only own six GMT or dual time watches right now. So I really need another one. Um, <laughs> Man, you're not really an authority then, are you? Only, only six. <laughs> no, 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 no. And I've got some with fixed bezels and some with, you know, independent hands. And, you know, and I, you know so I've got a few options. I have one with no bezel. Uh, and I would love to see it in that all white. Just all oh, white, all the way around. Is that the off white? Is that off white? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. other one. Yeah, beautiful yeah. color, that. Really, I said that as well. Yeah. The off white color, beautiful. Absolutely. I love that color. Really yeah. impressive that color. Yeah, Excellent. or maybe you. Have, maybe have done this in all. You know, I I just don't like the split color of the uh, of the twenty four hour track. That really, uh, okay. It's yeah. uselessly annoying to me. <laughs> okay, uh, pocket your um. Your your well, thoughts and your views. Well, unlike Brian, the uh, the split twenty four hour track doesn't bother me at all. It just it looks like a regular GMT. Uh, I I think it's their best, if not second best, offering out of this batch. So I mean, I think the the actual Dune watch that looks like a sand dune is you know either the winner or second place, and I think this is its match. You know, I think it's just a good looking overall watch. The GMT in the bright red like that just really pops and i think the little touch of gmt written in red also just sets it off and you know i think my only complaint about this watch is why would they limit it to 200 like it's it's not mm. it's not fancy or doesn't have a reason to be a limited edition where i think this no. could just be a really good seller so you know i i just don't know why they would do that i think they would sell a whole bunch of them why limit it but I haven't, I haven't actually pri asked your price. So, Brian, quickly, what what price do you think this is going in at? Considering it's limited to two hundred. Oh, I don't care anymore. Um, <laughs> Nine ninety five. Okay. One dollar. Okay. What, pr uh, what price do you think it is? I'm with Brian on that. I think it's about a thousand bucks. Okay. So, cherish your thoughts and your uh, price guess, please. All right, so I think it's a great watch. I think 38 is going to fit a, a good segment of people out there. I can barely, you know, get under that 40. For me, it wouldn't replace my Sealander, which I have in the white dial, which is pretty cool. But, you know, it looks great. I think, again, it would look great on that one of the Christopher Ward rubber straps. I think it would be versatile. And, again, you could change it up as much as you want. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up. And I'm going to agree with Pocket. I'm going to take this as one and the linen dial as two. I think that's where Pocket was, somewhere in there. Uh, and uh, I'm going to go... I'm going to go 995. <laughs> okay, so... Um... Yeah, we've played this game before, one. haven't we? Actually, before, before you reel the price, uh, John, is that price yeah. linked to the previous guesses you got wrong? Or is that you kind of think? Are you trying to play the market here, or are you you genuinely think that that's worth nine nine five? Just out of interest. A little bit of both for me, just because you know I I kind of said that about my first watch is that I think they're kind of trying to go up a little bit, and a thousand dollars is sort of their new spot. So I mean, they impressed me by going back down to eight hundred, and you know, for doing the the full bronze and twelve hundred, you know, that's that's pretty impressive. 
But I, I think a thousand dollars for a GMT and a limited edition that's that's right in the Christopher Ward wheelhouse. So I'm mm-hmm. I'm not only playing the uh, the statistics, <laughs> but that's kind of where I thought <laughs> playing it would the market. Be. <laughs> I'm I'm purely going off of how badly I screwed up the other two guesses. <laughs> right, <laughs> and I picked, <laughs> I picked right yeah. between the prices of the other two. Right. Yeah, two right. grand for the other one. Oh, yeah. yeah, what's, what's yeah. getting his money like? back? You know. <laughs> So with that, I'm, I'm going to change, if I may. May, may I change my uh, my price? You may change, indeed. Yeah. I'm going to bring it down at eight ninety five because Uh-oh. you know I, I'm I'm going along the lines of the Sealander, and it's a thirty eight. Nothing special about it. So yeah, that's where I'm going to stay. I'm going to come down. <laughs> just one GMT thing. Uh, just one thing. Cherished. What? It has got a red tip on the green. <laughs> <I know. people. laughs> yeah. Raise the yeah. slightly. I was wait, wait a minute. Yeah, <laughs> will it fade over time? That is the question. <laughs> okay, so the price is one thousand one hundred ninety-five dollars. No, too much. Mm-hmm. Even more higher. That's how much it's got. That's probably, it's limited. He's probably because he's limited. Yeah, he's probably part it's of it. A, so yeah, that's your liter SW three thirty Mark two. Yeah, yeah. 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 With a, with a, with a, with a, with a modifier with a higher power reserve, and obviously with the with the GMT function. So that's your lot, guys. Out know. of all of them, I do really like the off that off white one. It'd be interesting just to see. You haven't said whether that price is actually on a bracelet or on a strap because normally it's a couple hundred quid that's nice in price isn't it i do like i do like that color a lot i think it's really striking and i think it is a stra- i think that is a strap monster 100 uh-huh. percent really think it would look great on on a it's had a rubber strap on a leather strap um yeah on a nato <laughs> yeah i was dying for me to say it yep <laughs> <Right. laughs> yes um... I don't know. Can I ask a question of the panel? You know, I've been collecting yeah. Christopher Ward because you guys got me hooked, but I, you know, I've always been able to get what I think was a fair price. Sometimes I overpaid a little bit, perhaps. Do you think Christopher Ward is rise, raising the prices too much now, based upon, uh, you know, the fact that they're becoming a, more of a brand no. name? No, no, I don't think so. No. No, I think this value, no. good value, for what you're getting. I think okay. this is. Uh, I think, yeah. you, especially yeah. when I look at the UK price, below seven hundred quid for this. I think he's pretty, yeah, it's a lot he's of watch. Pretty, pretty, absolutely a lot. He is a lot of watch, 100%. Yeah, and even if it's yeah. just inflationary gains, I just paid $7 for a thing of milk. So, you know, for the, <laughs> <laughs> yes. for the fact that, uh, that, you know, a watch can cost this. Yeah, I, I think their prices are right in line, and they're they're actually really great. All right, Brian, what do you think? Too high? I don't. I don't know enough about their the rest of their pricing to really say. But comparative to what the market's doing, no, I don't think they've pushed okay. up too fast. Um, I think no. you're just old and stuck in what you f- were first buying. <laughs> and and now they've improved their movements, improved their dial making, right. improved their case making, and you're still stuck on the old prices. That perhaps is true. I, ha- I, I, you know, I must say I don't have an issue with any of the ones that I have, and I'm still waiting on one as <laughs> as it gets built, but. Uh yeah no very pleased with them haven't had uh, an issue and uh, they do well you know uh, I usually pick them up new or I've been blessed to get some on the secondary uh, side so mm. excellent excellent I got one right. thing to say about the GMT if it did have that granular kind of textured dial I think it would make it just because it, it yeah. seems like a, a real cool travelers it's the kind of guy who picks up his camera and has got to. A photographer or something picks up his bag and jumps on a plane. He would wear that kind of watch. It yes, just seems yeah. like, a, like yeah. a, you know, the old a throwback kind mm-hmm. of develops his own pictures and stuff. Very very cool kind of very uh, u- layout u- and design. Utilitarian, isn't it? Yes. Oh, yeah. Exactly. That's the one. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> three syllables, really is, John. What's going yeah. on? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it is, it's not. Slow down. Slow it's down. not like. Yeah. It's not like. You know, it's not a, something you have to really take care of. Like, if you got, I suppose, if you got a a Rolex GMT, you paid more money for it, and be and you'd be a bit sort of like, yeah, not yeah. treat Nursing it as it, a you, lot more. It's yeah. like you really treat this one because it's not cost you five, six, seven thousand quid, but it's absolutely it's, it's a proper tool. It's just a proper tool watch, hundred percent, really. Yeah. And it I is. think that that textured dial would just give you that extras kind of edge. Just a bit. It's, it's yeah. nice now, but I just think it'd give it that. Add to that kind of yeah. 
because they've got it right for me personally. I think with this one, they've really got the yeah. look right. And yeah. if they wanted to improve it, that texture job would probably be the the cherry on top. This one, say, to me, this look, this looks like to me like they rendered the the two flags logo on there, and it's not actually on there. It to me, to me, uh, that says oh, to I me see. that yeah. I, I it's, it's what I said before that if the, if the if the logo, the cross, and the flag, if, it, if that's actually applied, it doesn't look applied like it does on the white on the off white one. I said that when I first saw the picture. When it's the the color contrast of it that, that makes it look as if it's not, or whether Brian's right and it's been for the pictures, it's been rendered on, but it doesn't look. It, no, it doesn't, I doesn't I stick have, out. I have the, the way, answer. I I just realized the answer. Go ahead. Because this is a forehand stack, and they didn't want to make the watch much thicker. It's Perhaps. probably that logo is not as thickly applied. It's probably a very flat logo on the mm. that's not standing up as much as the other one is on the uh, on the white yeah. one. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. Okay. So the eyes aren't the eyes aren't drawn towards it. They're drawn towards the red extra red. So the hands don't maybe. bump into it, basically. But yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. Had, yeah. yeah. They had to thin down that applied. Mm. Yeah, they they probably had to make it a little thinner. Although, yeah, otherwise, it would have sense. been another two millimeters thicker. I must admit, yeah, because that, because that, yeah, because that hand is on the, that hand is on the bottom of the stack, if you like, yeah. isn't it? If you think about mm. it, yes. that then it's quite, yeah, that's on the bottom of the stack. That's yeah, a good observation there. Yeah, right. definitely. What do you guys think of the indices? The way they look like buttons, they look really cool. Again, mm -hmm. so well made. This is mm -hmm. so well designed. Yeah. Mm. yeah, very good looking watch. Yeah, that's why I'd like to see it in all white. Yeah, that's candy that, yeah. color, whatever that is. I would 100. I would like to see that GMT in all, in definitely in all white. 100. Yeah. Do you so think they'd go I... with white and orange or white and red? Because they normally go white and orange. They do. Ooh. I like that yes. color red. Yeah, that color red, red would, would be nice. Look, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. what I what I would do is I would wear my Rolex GMT while I traveled and got to the hotel, and then when I got to go out to running around and playing in the town or on the beach or whatever, then yeah. I'd switch over to the to the more fun, summery, sandy looking one. If they did this yeah. in white, the see the it's a floating hand, isn't it, on the GMT? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so they'd have to match it with the color of the other hands. It'd look a bit weird. Don't you think? If the dial, the two, the loom on the two hands and the second hand, oh, the three that's true. It's... Normal, regular hands, and yeah. then you've got that, it would look a bit odd. Would you, in this is as well. Yeah. The, and, the yeah, Gaston, the be... cream dial. Yeah. Well, in the cream dial, they had the same color indices. They, oh, but they're just colors around. Hand, GMT hand. The red hand's fine. All look at, Rol look at Rolex in the in the Explorer Two with the bright orange hand that looks like a. You know, oh no! no what I mean is the see the the tip of the GMT hand. It, yeah. The red tip, it, it this it's kind of ghost hand either the the two one six five seven zero, Explorer Two the one the, the model before the new one where yeah. they had the ghost hands on it on the the black one, and then and they'd the black one to make didn't. that all orange, wouldn't they? If they did. But on the uh, on the white one, they made it all red, and it worked fine. Yeah, so it'd have to be all the same color. It wouldn't work as they in that kind of layout. I'm saying. Yeah, they couldn't. They otherwise, couldn't do the black yeah, in nice. the center of it. Just yeah. go, just go back to the, just go back to the GMT again, please. A minute, and and they just want to check. Split screen them, Andy. Go ahead. We'll break your <laughs> router. There you go. No, just go go back to the GMT again, please. The black GMT. There we are. Right. <laughs> Does it? Sorry, does it have it does have a date on the bottom, doesn't it? As well, has it got a date yeah. at six o'clock? Yeah, it yes, has, yeah, it does. Um, I'd like to make sure. But what I thought to myself, if you wanted to put a yeah. white dial in, if you didn't have a if you didn't have a date, you'd have to re-engineer the white dial, and obviously, it costs more money. They wouldn't do it, but that's got a date as well. I remember, I'm seeing it. They could just yeah. swap the dial straight over. They could do it if they wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, and there may have to be some modifications in the case because of the depth of the stack and, and the extra movement. I would I would imagine that this GMT is a couple millimeters thicker than the non-GMT. I'm torn now as to which one I'd actually want them to send me as a review. Because <laughs> the, the white one, I love the white one. That's the one I think I would buy. 
but they'd be interested to see this. Which one does Teddy like? <laughs> yeah, if, if, he likes this if one. Anyone, if, anyone, <laughs> right, if anyone wants to know about them noises, it's not me. It's uh, it's Sherry's dog, Teddy. It's John's stomach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's hungry. He's hungry. He hasn't had his tea yet. Yeah, me too, he needs yeah. a couple of hobnobs. <laughs> yeah. That is always <laughs> entertainment. <laughs> so, you know, um, yeah, I know Alex from the guy who sorts out the watches from uh, Christopher Ward is going to watch this. I told him when it, I told him it's gonna, we're going to do this video, obviously. So, Alex, if you're watching, send me two, mate. Send me the black GMT right. and right. the white and the white one because the white one I'm interested in buying, but this one I'm interested to get my hands on to see actually what it's like. Real hands on, it's quite interesting. And, and Alex, if you're watching, make me the all white dial GMT with just with the red hand all the way through. There you go. Well, can I have the texture dial one as well with black? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And um, <laughs> you can a, yeah, you can put a little, you can put a little TNT logo if you want in a minute. We'll have a collab. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Great, right. I'm just going to get rid of the pictures now, guys. Um, I think thank you everybody for your. Sure. Brilliant observations. I mean, Brian, uh, Brian just came out with that one with you know, with the uh, with, with why the uh, the logo, the, the logo is, is small, yeah. it's brilliant, that's brilliant. Um, and everyone's got some brilliant observations. It was interesting to hear what Brian said about the price, where we thought one was like two grand. Wow, interesting or there, wrong. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm just too rich for all of you. I don't, my watch is, yeah. Yeah. Money I don't buy watches for less than two grand. So, Christopher, what did you, have you heard? I said, what price would you pay? So he said two grand. Right. He'll happily pay two grand for one. There you go. You, I was overserved. I'm sorry. I'll sell you one for two thousand. How about that? Yeah. There we yeah. go. Yeah. No problem. So, thank you everybody for watching. Um, go on the Christopher Ward website and have a look at them. The live now and see what you think. Uh, put comments in the below what you think of the watches. Uh, put a comment in the below if you bought one. If you've if you've gone on the site and this this video has actually helped you decide between one and you bought one, let us know. Let us know what you bought uh, and let us know the colour and everything. Uh, yep, and let Chris Ward know that you bought it because of this show as well. Yeah, of course, well, yeah. Every, let them, every yeah, let them know that it, that we help you influence buying that watch. It would be a great help. Thank you, thank you, everybody. So thank you to my usual usual um, panel and thank you to Cherish, thank you to Pocket, and thank you again to Brian. That was brilliant. And before you go, remember to like this, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you very much. Absolutely. And we will see you again very soon. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>